Welcome to Deep Learning with TensorFlow. In this section, we will learn what TensorFlow is, how to install it, and how to build simple models and do simple computations. Further, we will learn how to build a logistic regression model for classification and introduce a machine learning problem to help us learn TensorFlow. In this video, we are going to understand what is TensorFlow and how to start using it. We're going to learn what kind of library TensorFlow is and install TensorFlow on your own Linux machine or on a free instance of Sage Math Cloud if you don't have access to a Linux machine. First, what is TensorFlow? TensorFlow is a new machine learning library put out by Google that is designed to be very easy to use and very fast. If you go to the TensorFlow website, tensorflow.org, you can learn a wealth of information about what TensorFlow is and how to use it. We'll be referring to this often, particularly the documentation. Before we can get started using TensorFlow, though, we need to install it, as it probably doesn't come pre-installed in your operating system. So if you go to Get Started on the TensorFlow webpage and scroll down to PIP Installation, you can see how we're going to install TensorFlow. TensorFlow has been challenging to install even for experienced system administrators, so I highly recommend using something like the PIP installation, or, if you're familiar, the Docker installation. You can install TensorFlow from source, but that can be very challenging. We will install TensorFlow using a provided pre-compiled binary called a wheel file. You can install this file using Python's PIP module installer. For the PIP installation, you have your option of using a Python 2 version or a Python 3 version. Also, you can choose between the CPU version and the GPU version. If your computer has a powerful graphics card, the GPU version may be for you. However, you need to check that your graphics card is compatible with TensorFlow. If it's not, it's fine. Everything in this series can be done with just the CPU version. So if you copy this line for TensorFlow, you can install it for Python 3.4. If you don't have Python 3.4 like the wheel file called for, that's okay. You can probably still use the same wheel file. First, you'll just need to download the wheel file directly, either putting that URL in your browser or by using a command line program such as wget. If you download that, it will very quickly be grabbed by your computer. Now, all you need to do is change the name of the file from CP34, which stands for Python 3.4, to whatever version of Python 3 that you're using. In this case, we're going to change it from a version using Python 3.5, so we'll change the 4 to a 5. Now you can install TensorFlow for Python 3.5 simply by changing the installation line here to pip3 install, and the name of the new wheel file after changing it to 3.5. And we can see that works just fine. Now you've installed TensorFlow. If your installation somehow becomes corrupted later, you can always jump back to this segment to remind yourself how to install. If you don't have administrative or installation rights on your computer, but still want to try TensorFlow, you can try running TensorFlow over the web in a Sage Math Cloud instance. If you go to cloud.sagemath.com and create a new account, you can create a new project. This will give you a sort of virtual machine that you can play around with. Conveniently, TensorFlow is already installed in the Anaconda 3 kernel. Let's create a new project called TensorFlow. And we click Create Project. Now we can go into our project. It will take a couple seconds here to load. Go to Create a New File, and we'll create a Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter is a convenient to interact with IPython session, and the primary means of using Sage Math Cloud for these computations. Again, it may take a few seconds to load. When you get to this interface, the first thing you need to do is change the kernel to Anaconda Python 3. This will give you the proper dependencies to use TensorFlow. It may take a few seconds for the kernel to change. Once you are connected to the new kernel, you can import TensorFlow and do run cell to verify that it works. If your Jupyter Notebook is taking a long time to load, 
You can instead create a terminal in Sage Math Cloud. Once there, type Anaconda 3 to switch environments, then IPython 3 to launch an interactive Python session. You can work easily here, although you won't be able to visualize output. Import TensorFlow, and off you go. In this video, we've learned what TensorFlow is and installed it, either locally or on a virtual machine on the web. In the next video, we will explore simple computations in TensorFlow.